It's in a verse by Brandy, Nicole, and Amy. Long, long ago, when the world never existed, when the universe was black, and the bright stars of many colors were magnificently shining in the skies above, for millions of years they stayed where they were, shining just as bright as they always had, until one day the wind began to blow. Harder and harder, until the stars molded together and began to spin until they separated into planets. The most magnificent and colorful was named Earth. Within this earth was various blue and green stars, creating land and water. There were also peach and brown stars within the vast blue and green. Within the earth, the core was made up of positively charged gold stars, which provided energy and heat to the earth. The peach and brown stars began to swirl and form humans of different color and race. The dark green stars soon after formed plants, trees, and bushes. For years and years, humans populated the earth. After some time, the plants were not providing enough food for the expanding population, and they needed to find a new food source and fast. As humans began to become more malnourished, the population was beginning to die off. Was this the end of humankind? No! When the first humans died, they were buried by their own, deep down into the earth. The core of the earth was still charged with the, hum with the bright stars. These positively charged stars supplied the energy needed to evolve humans into another kind animals. grew up and became the great food source humans needed. The snake, which was a land animal, wandered off into the ocean. Time went by and he realized he liked the cool ocean waters better than the dry land. So the snake lived his waters, his life in the waters. But eventually he got old and tired and sunk to the bottom of the ocean. There his skin particles evolved in many water animals we see today. The creation of the earth was finished and all creation lived